The home point has been there updated. We go. Please check it on the map. <sighs> so we're at almost four minutes. That's pretty bad. Anyway, we're already at home lock. The home point has been updated. Please seconds. check it so on the map. It's not the location. It's the Mavic 3. As you can see, I'm having some issues with my DJI Mavic 3, and it's a little bit concerning. I've actually had two issues in the last two days, and that's why I'm making this video. Number one, I want to see if any of you have been experiencing these things as well. And number two, if there are more people experiencing this, then hopefully we can get enough people that are sharing these problems and DJI will address it. So real short video today, let's talk about the two issues that I've been having. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Nice to have you here again. And if you're here for the very first time, my name is Russ and this is 51 Drones. And hopefully I can provide something of value today. And if I do, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is the amount of time that it took me yesterday and today to get an appropriate number of satellites acquired to lock the home point before I launched my Mavic 3. Now, since I've had the Mavic 3, I've never really noticed a significant delay in acquiring a home point lock. Normally, I have at least 12 satellites within the first minute or so of turning on the drone. But yesterday, I headed out to fly, and it took about two minutes to get it up to 11 satellites. And then it didn't home lock for another two minutes. So it took actually four minutes to get up to lock. So I thought maybe that was the location that was the problem. So what I did is I grabbed my Air 2S because I had that with me as well. And as soon as I had the app opened, I had like 18 satellites locked on right away. So... What I did is I drove over to a parking lot on the edge of town with no chance of interference and it's a place that I fly on a regular basis. I also checked the KP index because I know some of you are going to ask that. The KP was at um, 2 yesterday or was it the day before? Anyway, whenever I did it, the KP was at 2 so that wasn't a problem. And I tried both drones again. And again, the Air 2S, instant lock. Like when it came up on the screen, I had satellite locked on and home point was locked on. The Mavic 3... The home point has 11. been updated. Please check it on the map. All right, that took exactly six minutes. Six minutes, you guys, to get a GPS locked on. And I am in a wide open, unobstructed parking lot. Took six minutes, you guys. And as you can see, just today I tested it out again on my deck in the backyard, and it took four minutes to get a home point locked. Now I can understand a couple of minutes, maybe maximum, but four minutes or six minutes, that is not reasonable, especially when the Air 2S locks on within a minute. So my biggest question here is, is this a result of the recent update of the 500 update? I think maybe it is because I was not experiencing those long of a delay, that long of a delay before the update. So I don't know if it has anything to do with that or not, but I really would appreciate if any of you who have the Mavic 3 to test that out as well and let me know. Now here's the second issue I noticed. Um, on the same day, yesterday, I can't remember, my days run together, but, and I never really tested this out, but it has to do with flying over snow. So the Mavic 3 obstacle avoidance does not like to fly over snow, like solid snow. So I tried at least 10 passes over this open field, and about 80% of the time, when I was just pushing forward on the right stick, the drone increased in altitude all by itself as I flew it straight ahead. And then I flew it backwards as well, pulling straight back on the stick, same thing. It increased in altitude about eight out of the 10 times. All right, we're just gonna fly straight ahead over the snow and we're gonna see if the altitude changes at all by itself. I'm just pushing straight ahead on the right stick. We started at 70 feet and now it's increasing 74, 75, 74. Okay, so it went up about four feet over a thousand foot distance. So I'm gonna go ahead and just come backwards. Started at 70, it's going up 78, 79, 80, 84, 85, 86, 80. Look at that. I'm not, you guys, I'm not pulling anything on the left stick. Everything's calibrated properly, so it has something to do with the obstacle avoidance. And sometimes it actually doubled in altitude over 
a horizontal distance of like, I think I was going like 800 feet away and then I would fly back 800 feet and it would double in altitude. Like I would start at like 50 and it would go up to 100 feet. So it just keeps going up and up as long as you keep pulling back on that stick. So I hopped online to see if anyone else had been experiencing this problem. And sure enough, I did find this gentleman named Marcus Glass. He has a YouTube channel, but he was experiencing the same thing before the update and after the update. So he had the same issue. And what he found out was that it only occurs when you have the Mavic 3 set to bypass obstacle avoidance action. So if you have your obstacle avoidance set to the brake action, or if you have it turned off or in sport mode, this annoying little bug does not occur. And let's switch to brake on the obstacle avoidance. Okay, so in brake, uh, obstacle avoidance action, it didn't change at all. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you this just so you can see that I'm not inputting on the stick at all. So I'm gonna go back to 70 feet, about 70 feet, okay? Let's say 69, 70 feet. And I'm gonna pull straight back only on the right stick. Look at that, immediately 75, 70, look at it go up. And I'm not touching that left stick. Wow, <laughs> look at it go up. So bypass mode over the snow, the drone does not like that. No, I had never noticed this before and I think it's because I never really flew any significant distance over an open field of snow like I did the other day. So, and then the other thing, if you have contrast below, like I moved it over to the road, so it had some road and some contrast below, that issue did not occur. It stayed exactly where I started over a 800 or 1000 foot distance, however far I flew it away. So, so this makes me wonder if the same thing would happen when you're flying over water. I'm assuming that it would because of the reflective surface, but I won't be able to test that for at least three months <laughs> when, when finally all the ice has gone off the lakes. But maybe some of you who have the Mavic 3 that live in a warmer climate could test that out right now and then share your results here in the comment and then you know, if it gives us any answers, I'll pin it in the top of the comments. But I'm sure there's a lot of people that are wondering, you know, does, does this happen in other places besides snow? Because I think it's really important to know, you know, if you're pushing ahead on a stick and if you're not paying attention, um, you know, it's going to increase in altitude. And, you know, it's really not that big of an issue. I don't think the obstacle avoidance still works. And, you know, it's just a, it's really annoying. So... So anyway, there's a couple of bugs that I've recently experienced. And like I said, for those of you that have the Mavic 3 right now, I would appreciate you letting everyone know in the comments if you've had any of these problems. And it seems like these are two things that could be remedied with an update, hopefully, but I guess we'll have to see. And like I said, they're not that catastrophic. They're just bugs and they're annoying bugs, but you know, it certainly could be an issue if that GPS issue is a, if the stability is a problem and you're during flight, you lose GPS. You know, I could see that being an issue. So I haven't seen it yet, but I will certainly keep a close eye on it now every time I fly just to make sure that I have, you know, appropriate satellites locked on. So, so anyway, like I said, short video today. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that thumbs up if I helped you in any way today, if I provided any information of value. And also, if you're not subscribed, I really would appreciate you clicking on that subscribe button. Go ahead and watch a few of my other videos. If you like what you see, go ahead and join the community. We have a a pretty fun channel here. So also follow me on social media. I do a lot of other things on uh, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. So follow me there. So thanks for watching today. I really appreciate you guys watching the entire video all the way through. Have a great day. And as always, fly safe and fly smart.